So the Hellgate is the main source of Mundus's power. It can only be reached from his chamber. You must break into the chamber and close the Hellgate. Mundus is still weak from his last outburst. This is your chance to defeat him. Mundus doesn't know that Virgil is Nephilim. We can use that to our advantage. There's a back door into the tower located here. Virgil, you must reach the security room undetected. So Dante, you will create a distraction here. Hey guys, you looking for a fight? Here I am. Just like your father. Too big for your fucking boots. Me, a god. Versus you, a piece of shit. What up guys, it's Banana Owens here bringing you episode 23 of my Devil May Cry Let's Play. And in this episode, we're going to start laying down the foundations to attack Mundus. And uh, again, like the past couple ones, I apologize for talking a little bit softly, but uh, I boosted the audio so hopefully you can hear me out. I'm recording these really late at night, because this is the only time I really have to record them, and I'm trying to maintain a schedule here. So, uh, I spent the last episode, I gave a very hurried thing about the Sony press conference, of E3, and uh, I plan to talk more about the other press conferences in this video, and probably the next one. And again, the more bullshit platforming right here. So for for these next two videos, uh, I I don't know what's going on, but I think I have a Sony Vegas is like going is doing weird things to my videos, like it's having like a green flash every now and then. And I thought it was my actual video file getting corrupted first, but it turns out that it's uh, actually Sony Vegas doing this and I don't know how to fix it so if you see the green blurbs after this is all rendered and stuff I apologize but uh, I do not know what to do and I replayed the level once already and the green blurbs are still happening it's uh, it's Sony Vegas doing this I watched the files completely all the way through and uh, in just a uh, Windows uh, I played them through Windows Movie Maker, I played them through Adobe Premiere, they worked perfectly fine, I don't know what Sony Vegas is doing, I played in Windows Media Player, played in VLC, perfectly fine, I just don't know what's going on. So I apologize for that. So there's going to be a quick cut right about here while I joined uh, my friend's party. But uh, yeah, so let's get talking about the next press conference. And uh, I'm going to talk about the Xbox One last in this whole series. I don't want to immediately... Uh, go into like huge detail about that uh, but uh, I'm going to talk about the Nintendo stuff because uh, it was really interesting today so Nintendo decided not to do a E3 conference this year and decided to instead focus on Nintendo Direct and do their own special little thing which was really controversial before but the Nintendo Direct game has been the Nintendo Direct conferences things thingies I don't know how to talk about that have been pretty pretty interesting uh, they've been actually announcing some really good stuff and it's been really surprising actually okay so for Nintendo Direct let's let me go down this list here I'm on our games right now reading their live stream so they talk more about Pokemon X and Y which I'm really excited about uh, they introduced a fairy type Pokemon which is going to be super effective against Dragon, which is pretty huge. You know, new type of Pokemon. Uh, so, and then the new Eevee evolution is a fairy type as well. And they added the fairy type to stuff like uh, probably Clefairy and Jigglypuff and uh, Gardevoir, if you're familiar with the Pokemon series. And uh, they also announced like a little side feature called Pokemon Ami. So it's like pet your Pokemon to deepen your connection with them. And it's kind of just another bullshit little side thing that I won't really use too much. 
and uh, it's launching October 12, 2013, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So then Nintendo moved on directly to uh, some Mario footage, so it's Super Mario 3D World, which is the latest in the 3D series, and it's up to four-player multiplayer. And it's a really cool, it reminds me a lot of Super Mario Bros. 2, actually. So different characters have different abilities, like Peach can flow and Toad can run faster, and stuff like that. And they showed off a new Mario power-up, which is like a cat Mario, which is kind of funny. He can climb walls and scratch enemies and stuff like that. And that's coming out in December. And uh, they also announced a new Mario Party and uh, a new Mario Kart. And the Mario Kart has some little gravity features and it's launching next year. And Mario Party is uh, launching for uh, later this year, actually. And they announced a new Wii Fit U. They announced a new Wii Fit, so Wii Fit U is releasing in December as well. And uh, Art Academy, uh, more Weaver stuff in a third party game, so they'll have Batman Arkham Origins, Assassin's Creed 4, uh, Deus Ex, Disney Infinity, Just Dance, Rayman Legends, all that stuff. Ooh, and uh, they showed a Bayonetta 2 trailer, which was really cool actually. It was really, really interesting. And uh, one of my favorites to listen to was a, uh, sorry, I get a little distracted, I get it in the Facebook message. So one of my favorites thing was to, they talked about Wind Waker HD a little bit more. So it's a 1080p graphics with shaders, refined textures. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I think it could look a little bit better. And they made some adjustments to the game, like the tingle tuner aspect has been uh, adjusted. But uh, it, it, for like the the Wii U tablet, which is still pretty good, so it's, that's being released in October 2013, which is really interesting because I have to decide if I want to get a Wii U or a Nintendo 3DS for October, and I'm still trying to decide that. I might I'm leaning towards Pokemon right now, considering I've already played Wind Waker. And I, the Wii U probably will get very cheap very soon if they keep having a game deficiency, which right now there's barely anything to play with for it. Okay, so they announced a wonderful 101, which is like a, mostly a gamepad game, and uh, you can, it's like a group of heroes that fight each other, and stuff like that, which is really interesting. So then they announced a new Donkey Kong Country with like Vikings and stuff, and it was really cool. And it's supposed to be re released later this year, and I mentioned before they showed a Bayonetta 2 trailer, and uh, that was really cool. It was really funny. She has like a new shorter hairstyle and it looks as insane as ever. I was a pretty big fan of the first Bayonetta. And I thought that was a really fun game. I didn't really pay attention to the story. And because uh, that was really, really, really interesting. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't really pay attention to the story because it was so fucking crazy. At some points it was uh, kind of difficult to watch and really pay attention to understand what, like, what was going on. But it was really fun to play, and in the end, I think gameplay matters a lot more than the story in some aspect. So, then, after Bayonetta 2, they talk about Mono, uh, Xenoblade 2, which is actually a really popular game to, for like a lot of people on the internet. And, uh, <laughs> um, hold on, let me take a drink of my coffee here. Okay, sorry there for a second. So, let's um, yeah, let's keep talking. So, like, Xenoblade was really cool. I'm not really that interested in it. But the big game that they actually released uh, info for was uh, Super Smash Bros. Wii U. So, they show Super Smash Bros. Wii U, and they also showed that there's going to be a 3DS version, which is uh, slightly... Well, slightly, it's a less graphics, but it's a portable one, which kind of has like bold outlines. And but the, the Wii U version is like full HD. It looks cool. So some characters that they showed were, uh, they showed um sorry I'm reading this right now. They showed so Mario, Samus, Kirby, Fox, Pit, Donkey Kong, Pikachu, Link, and Bowser, and they showed off three new characters. So the first one was an Animal Crossing villager, which has led them. To, uh, 
which has led to some very funny internet memes actually regarding it how creepy the villagers are at some points which is kind of funny <laughs> and uh, it was really funny it's led to some very interesting memes about like rapists and oh god and then they showed off uh, and another new character was a very classic style Meg Man which was really really cool uh, I was really really happy with that and Mega Man was shown to be able to slide, uh, used his Mega Buster, and actually have access to several weapons. More than four, I thought maybe they were going to make it the, the special B moves, but uh, they actually showed like several weapon types, like the Metal Blade, Crash Bomb, Wood Shield, and the video was lagging very heavily when I was watching it, so I need to rewatch that before. So that was pretty cool. And then the last character that they confirmed was the Wii Fit Trainer, the, the female version, which was kind of funny, kind of out there. And uh, she has a very interesting set of moves from what you see in the video. It looks like a very, very, very fun, very out there, kind of like Rob was, kind of like more of a sense of humor, which I hope they expand the character roster with more unique characters for this next installment. I don't want a lot of clone characters like I thought in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, despite them having quite uh, subtle differences if you played if you played enough. Uh, I don't think Falco, Fox, and Wolf were that different enough to warrant them taking out other clone characters like Roy and, and like Young Link and stuff like that. Or, of Young Link. God, I'm stupid. Like, uh, uh, oh God, what was the other character? Uh, like Pichu or something like that. I don't think it warranted taking those out. Hopefully, and then Mewtwo and Lucario. Oh, oh man, hopefully we can get a Mewtwo's new form would be in the next Super Smash Bros. game. And I've been seeing some rumor, rumors actually, I think like Tekken would like to have a, the creator of Tekken would like to have some Tekken characters in the game. And uh, hopefully we'll see a return of a uh, Solid Snake and and a Sonic. And uh, let, me, let me look up something a little bit more right now. But anyway, it, it looks really great. And uh, I'm really, really excited to, to actually get to play it. Like I know once that comes out, I'll definitely have a new. I'll definitely buy a Wii U for that game. But uh, hey, you know, that's pretty cool. And I really hope that uh, last time for Super Smash Brothers Brawl, they did the Super Smash Brothers Dojo website, which was a. Uh, really interesting because they did updates for the game like once a week and it was really cool because they would introduce like all characters and items and new gameplay stuff on a regular basis so it was, it was absolutely insane to kind of uh, see the new characters and get introduced to new stuff in that weekly form and it really put like a connection on the fans and stuff like that and uh, of course uh, the Super Smash Bros. Uh, the, super, the Smash Balls are making a return. They showed off Samus's one again, so hopefully there's a Zero Suit Samus again. And they showed off a few uh, stages, actually, which were really cool for Super Smash Bros. So they showed a, battle, a Battlefield, uh, Dr. Wily's Castle, Smashville, uh, and Skyloft. And they also showed off like a boxing ring, too. That was really, really cool. I was really excited to see the the uh, boxing ring too because it showed Bowser using it and and the Skyloft level looks really pretty too and, oh just so many good so many good things for Nintendo kind of oh, oh I'm running out of time right now that about concludes this video guys so I will see you in the next one